Good morning guys, welcome back to another video. If you're new, my name is Amy and I have been on a weight loss journey. I've lost 60 pounds in the last couple of years following the Start Solution. I am currently in the middle of a potato reset. I'm gonna be doing three weeks eating nothing but potatoes and non-starchy veggies for health and maximum weight loss. And I wanna show you, obviously, as a busy mum, how I how I do that. So I wanna show you what I'm eating this weekend wrapped up in one nice little video. Um, although I totally forgot to film what I had while we went out. Basically, busy morning, we took Abe out um, for a nice little activity. And before we left, I did loads of steamed potatoes in the Instant Pot. Boom. And I ate about five of them. Um, I did also bring myself some veggies because as you guys know, I like to start my day with non-starchy veggies. I did two heads of broccoli and two courgettes, but I forgot to bring a fork with me and it was a bit messy and that wouldn't have worked. So I've got my veggies and I'm gonna eat them right now. It's about quarter past 11. So those are my veggies that I couldn't eat uh, in there, leftover potatoes. Sorry, I haven't got any hands to show you. Um, but um, yeah, the potatoes were lovely, a nice cold potato even though it's cold and it sounds boring, is so yummy when you're actually hungry. Um, but it's great because it's not super stimulating. When I was full, I had a total cut off and I just couldn't eat any more of them. So five potatoes did the trick for me. But what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna get all of these sweet potatoes that I prepped earlier, washed, scrubbed and all sorted. I'm gonna get them into the oven because um, we're gonna be heading out in about a couple of hours uh, for a work thing. And I wanna make sure I've got loads of sweet potatoes to take with me because I'm loving the sweet potatoes at the moment. And I only have one last one in the fridge, which I might eat with my veggies actually. Um, so anyway, that's my plan. And then we also went to Waitrose uh, while we were out and I got loads and loads of a gigantic sweet potatoes. I'll show you in a little bit. And another couple bags of like different kinds of potatoes that I haven't tried recently just to give me some good potato variety. So I'll show you that in a little bit. Um, and I'll show you my food when I actually manage to eat it Mommy. once I've been able to put Romy down. Mommy? Yes, Abe. This how many I can do. Oh my god, no way, you know you can't fill that with eight, can you? Yeah. That's amazing. So I'm just feeding Rob because she woke up and she was getting pretty squeaky and I put half of my veggies in here. That's half my veggies yeah, that I made. A big one, you ready? Oh, I'm ready. That's half my veggies in there, um, but I've already eaten some, so there was more than that that's to begin with. That's good. That's a mean one. Abe, let me show that's a beautiful eight sweet pea. Abe's just doing some gorgeous writing. And then we're actually gonna go, we're gonna knock down our massive built-in wardrobe that's in our bedroom. Um, and we're gonna get a new chest of drawers and I'm gonna get like an op open, hangy, closety thing. Um, so we're just gonna go, we've got two hours until we have to head out. So we're gonna go and smash some stuff up. Okay, second round of veggies going in because I love them so much and I'm still a little bit snacky. Um, yeah, it's interesting when I had my potatoes this morning, I actually wished I was having my veggies. I craved them so much. So that's so interesting. <laughs> Back in the day, I would have forced myself to eat the veggies, but now I just love it. Okay, I'll show you what our bedroom currently looks like. We've got Jay we've got everyone in action. We are getting rid of this entire thing. I say we, I mean James. So um, let's see what it looks like in a couple hours. Okay, so we've been super busy upstairs knocking stuff down and uh, Romy and Abe are getting heavily involved, which is always fun. Um, anyway, I'm getting hungry. It's about half 12-ish. And let me go hunting and see what there is. All right, all right. I've got some leftover soup that really needs eating. Um, here we go. And I am absolutely dying, dying for sweet potatoes. But I've only got... Um, one sweet potato that's already done and the rest of them are in the oven so i'm just waiting so i may have to do myself some quick sweet potato fries but first i want to get more veggies in and i'm gonna go soup okay for anyone who's interested in what rami is having for lunch she's got some of my leftover veggies just broccoli broccoli and courgette with some rice and she's also going to be sharing some soup with me and to go along with that she's going to have some nuts and some dates as a little pudding it's so easy to feed your kids um, stuff when you're eating this way, they basically can eat exactly what you eat. 
Um, obviously, I make sure to give them loads of extra healthy fats uh, on top of what they eat. So they had avocado for breakfast, having loads of like nuts and um, higher calorie items, dates, peanut butter, all that kind of good stuff, tahini and things. Um, so it's really, really simple. Uh, you don't have to make them like separate meals. They can just eat exactly what you eat when you're eating this way because it's just such good stuff. Okay, so for the first time in a long time, I'm actually not for, uh, filming an Instagram what I ate today which I usually do, but I've got a backlog, so I think there's no point in doing it today, and it's just a bit of a mad day. So, if I wasn't filming stuff, I, I'm just a messy rascal, so I'm just gonna eat things out of a Tupperware, so I'm gonna eat this gigantic green soup. There is a couple of, there was a couple of potatoes in this whole soup, but it's not super starchy, so I'm then gonna have my sweet potatoes. But anyway, yeah, giant soup going in. Mm. Hello, so I've finished my lovely big soup absolutely delicious and i want to show you these sweet potatoes that have just come out of the oven oh my gosh look look at that sticky gooey gooeyness so i'm about to dive into these sweet potatoes i'm so excited but what i am going to do i'm really in the mood for some carrots so i picked up an extra bag of carrots because i ran out of carrots so i'm going to have a couple of carrots as well keeping it super simple i've got three baked sweet potatoes and three little carrots i'm aware this is a very like orange meal and um, that's okay also i'm realizing i'm gravitating gravitating towards just really simple food i don't need it to be complicated all the time just the simplicity of this gets me really excited i don't think i was thinking is i feel like i could go on forever because i've created myself a bunch of different potato meals i'm really we don't really need more than five to 10 meals in our lives. So I don't actually feel like I'm missing anything. I feel like I've got so much variety within the potatoes because I've got my core meals down. So, you know, when transitioning to the starch solution, it doesn't have to be potato reset, but um, find yourself five to, core, five to 10 core meals that you just rotate because people don't need more meals than that. Yes, you can get fancy here and there, but on a regular day to day, you don't need more meals than five to 10. So find your five to 10, rotate them, you'll be golden. But anyway, I literally feel like I could do the potato reset for the rest of my life. But my family, James wouldn't like that. <laughs> he said this morning, he does not enjoy me doing the potato reset because it means he has to make his own meals sometimes. <laughs> Lazy rascal. I just had to share this one sweet potato because <laughs> now I can't find loads of variety in terms of sweet potatoes. So this is about as good as it gets. Mm. Oh my God. Pure heaven. Mm. Ah, we are finally at home. It's nearly seven o'clock. We have had such a intense work meeting with the kids, which was uh, lovely, but absolutely crazy. And then we were all starving. So we rushed home and Abe was like, I'm dying of hunger. Cause we were not expecting our work meeting to be quite so long, uh, but it ended up being like four hours. Anyway, 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 let me tell you about the food, shall I? So I did go prepared. I took sweet potatoes, but I wasn't really able to eat it during the meeting. So at the very end, I was super hungry. Oh, thank you, Romy, clever girl. Um, but I did end up having like four sweet potatoes um, on the way back in the car. Obviously, it's still super hungry. I was trying to figure out what to have. I have a nibbled on a boiled uh, regular potato whilst I was making the food and some carrot and a bit of cucumber, not loads. Um, but I, I'll tell you what I fancied. I'm not, I'm going completely off my meal plan today. It's sometimes you just have one of those days when you're not really prepared and the weekend's just thrown me in all honesty and that is totally fine. So I'll tell you what I really fancied. I fancied, <clears throat> you know, when you make a soup, with potatoes in it and it's got like the veggie broth in it and then before like I like a blended soup but before I blend the soup I always love to nibble a couple of those like brothy potatoes with all like the flavor infused in there and stuff so basically that's what I fancied and then I'm just throwing vegetables in it so it's kind of just turning into like a chunky soup but the main bit I'm excited about is the potatoes in the veggie broth um, I've got some celery I've got a couple of carrots in here I've also got some leftover broccoli and i'm also quickly gonna grab some kale and chuck some kale in there as well but we're still doing work on the house as well so it's really just a crazy day and i've got myself a lovely tea but anyway i'm absolutely knackered yay i've got some food okay so this is what i have got massive 
bowl of just veggies, basically, and potatoes. And it's kind of like a stew, and it's going to be very, very warming and snuggly. Now, this is super, super low calorie density stuff. There's just so much volume for what I put in there. Um, it was just like a little a bag of like baby new potatoes, but not a gigantic bag. I mean, decent enough bag, but not massive. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Sometimes simple is just delicious. You don't have to make fancy stuff. You can just warm veggies up with a snuggly like soupy broth thing and it does the trick. Mm. <clears throat> anyway, that is exactly what I wanted. It's hit all the spots. It's funny when you when you um, eat this way for long enough, your body kind of almost tells you what it wants to eat as opposed to you like telling it. It's interesting. But anyway, I'm gonna go and I'm probably gonna eat both of these bowls worth of soup. So um, I'm gonna go and do that and see you tomorrow. Oh, good morning. How are you doing? So it's Sunday morning here. We have had a super busy morning already. We have completely <laughs> knocked down our bedroom. What is it, Ron? Do you want to see that? We've completely knocked down everything in our bedroom and we've been working out all of that good stuff. But now it's time to make some breakfast. Not for me, for the babies. I decided this morning I was going to make these little babies some chocolate courgette muffins because they haven't had that in ages and I thought it'd be really fun to try and get more veggies into them. Um, so I've just got all my ingredients out. Romy's going to help me while the boys are upstairs doing the knocking down. Abe is in his element. He is just having so much fun. Um, so we're going to go in with oat flour. And I also read that potato starch or potato flakes is fantastic for giving it like a fluffiness. And I've got a little bit in here, so I might add it in. Um, I've got loads of good stuff. So I will, um, I'm gonna be filming it over for Instagram, but I'll show you what they look like in a little bit. Obviously these are not my muffins. These are for the babies. So let's go make some muffins. Mwah! You want me to make two batches? So I've just whipped up the muffin mix. Here we go. And obviously I can't do any tasting, but Romy and Abe are doing some lovely tasting for me. And what's the verdict, Abe? Quality? He wants me to whip up another batch of, uh, of this. <laughs> but we are just about to turn this into some muffins. Oh, Abe, are you gonna help me turn it into? Right, Rams, do you have a taste? No, I'm, I was just gonna have a little taste. You just want a little taste, do you? Oh, well done, guys. Now, you know what's cool about this muffin mix, Abe? What? It's got two courgettes in it. But I blended the courgettes. It's delicious. It's delicious. Yay, mummy. Romy is loving this process so much. She's actually getting so helpful in the kitchen. Clever, clever Roms. <laughs> I really love getting my babies involved in the cooking process, especially healthy cooking. Then they can learn how to make these things when they grow up. Okay, so the muffins are in the oven and I have made my breakfast. So I have got chocolate sweet potato ice cream this morning. They're nice. Mm, it's a bit cold. This is absolutely delicious, although Abe doesn't like it because I put almond drops in it so it tastes like marzipan. <laughs> but yeah, it's amazing. You can get so creative with potatoes. Anyway, I'm going to go and eat this. I haven't eaten my veggies yet. It's been a crazy morning. I'll have to do my veggies afterwards. Sometimes that happens, but... <laughs> but I wanted to make this now. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Oh, it has been a really crazy morning. Both kids have been absolutely mad and I feel like my brain's going to explode. However, we persevere onwards. I also haven't eaten my veggies still and I really want to eat some veggies, but I don't have time. The times have changed today and so it's like 11 o'clock and I'm like, oh my gosh. So I want to quickly walk you through my little meal plan for this week, how I'm going to incorporate potato and non-potato related people in my household. So they are going to have a lot of potatoes this week and I think that's okay because they all love potatoes. So this evening, twice baked spinach potatoes. Tomorrow, cheesy artis artichoke spinach dip and the kids are just, they're not gonna like that. So the kids are just gonna have a cheesy, uh, cheesy dip with chips and some like veggies and stuff. Then the next day, I'm gonna do like a big tomato soup with like hash browns for myself. They're gonna have that as a tomato pasta. Following day, I'm gonna be doing a sushi for everybody. I love sushi with mash, so I'm just gonna have that. Next day, I was gonna have mashed broccoli gravy. Not sure about Friday, but then we're gonna have burgers on Saturday. Um, and I'm gonna see if I can try and make some potato reset burgers. 
um, but I, I'm not sure about that just yet. But worst comes to worst, I'll just have something different. So anyway, that's kind of my vague meal plan for this week. I'm about to take Romy shopping, gonna go and get loads of stuff. And when I come back, I'll give you a little grocery haul. But yes, this is a true mad day in my house, how I eat really realistically whilst I'm super busy. Um, so what I'm actually gonna do is while I'm in the kitchen, let me use my tiny brains and let me think about how I can vaguely prepare for later. We're gonna go out to my mum's later today. So I might be able to eat some dinner there, but I am gonna have lunch here and I could either put some potatoes on now or I could have some mash. I think I'm gonna do mash. I think I'm gonna do mash. Yes, let's do that. Actually, actually, hold on. I know. I know that I'm gonna want some more sweet potatoes today and I'm totally out now that I used the rest of that for my, uh, I used the leftover sweet potatoes for my ice cream. So I'm gonna actually bake up three, oh, three of these absolutely ginormous, ridiculous <laughs> sweet potatoes um, right now. So um, they'll probably be ready when I actually come back from Morrison. So that should be perfect. Okay, although I have zero motivation this morning, clearly I have chopped up, well, not a chopped up. I have peeled five carrots and I'm going to eat that on the way to the shops. This is me trying my best. Okay, guys, we have a quick change of plans. Got in the car and I was two minutes away from the house and Romy puked in the car, mega style. So I came immediately back home. Now James has gone to the shops and now I have decided to uh, crack on with doing what he was meant to be doing, which is stripping the wallpaper off our bedroom wall. This is what we managed to sort out the other day. We got rid of all of that massive, um, whatever it was called, rubbish. So I've got Romy on my back. Abe's going to be my special helper. And we're going to strip this wallpaper, baby. Progress. One wall. Well, as much as I can reach anyway. Now it's lunchtime. Okie dokie, I want to show you my incredible, massive lunch that I have got going on here. I have sorely neglected my veggies this morning, so I'm going hard on the veggies. I've got two massive heads of broccoli, loads of little green beans, and hiding in here somewhere is loads of Brussels sprouts as well, and cooked up these insane, ridiculous, gigantic sweet potatoes. I'm so excited. This caramel right here is heaven. Yes, so I've got a gigantic sweet potato, loads of my veggies. I'm going to stuff this in my face. And I also made myself a lovely cup of tea as well because for today is just crazy. Mm. Even though it's a crazy day, I feel like we've got loads of stuff done. And the babies are going crazy. They're bouncing off the walls a little bit. So I'm going to take them out for a lovely foresty walk, get them out of the house and uh, give them a bit of baby freedom. This feast, I did... I know I haven't been chatting about food stuff. It's just been about my day in general but this is an incredible combination for low calorie density goodness this sweet potato is going to be so 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 filling and satisfying and just delicious and i'm going to sprinkle a little bit of cinnamon on there as well and all of these veggies are going to provide me with that bulk if i just had this sweet potato on its own i might not be super full but look how much food i get to eat and it's so low calorie density um okay so i finished all my veggies and i've got sweet potato left but I'm really in the mood for more veggies not because I want to, but not because I have to, just because I want to. So I've got loads of these leftover veggies. I'm just going to pile them on. Okay, back from our walk. The kids are squeaky, but I am making baked potatoes this evening. So I'm just going to try and whack them in the oven really, really quickly. So my potatoes are in the oven crisping away and I got a little hungry. So I've just um, made myself some little, little chips. Mm. I just did some smoked paprika and some nutritional yeast. With a little tiny bit of salt on there. Two potatoes. Very tasty. Yay! Sweet freedom. I am just about to jump in the bubbliest bath ever and I could not be more excited. You know when you just have those days where it's just mental. Oh my muffins. My brain is going to explode. But I was just, I'm just about to post a reel. I was, uh, I found myself stress eating on cherry tomatoes. <laughs> and then I realised to, to myself, that is the power of having a clean environment with no junk whatsoever, only the fresh whole plant foods available to me. So I stress eat on cherry tomatoes. And you know what? I'm okay with that. <laughs> People have stressful times, but it's your environment that dictates what you're going to do with that. But anyway, um, I am going to go and thoroughly enjoy this bath. <sighs> So I've got a sleeping Romy on me. She is flat out. And my twice baked spinach potatoes are out of the oven. Oh my, 
Oh my muffins. I sprinkled some nooch on them as well. These are incredible. I've already eaten one. I want to show you what else I have got going on. So I've got some asparagus in here. I know it looks super basic, but it's just got so much flavor. It's got loads of lemon juice and then garlic salt, and it's just gonna be like, oh my gosh. It's gonna be incredible. Um, I've got some cherry tomatoes, which I have been snacking on. I've already eaten loads of these. Um, I don't really fancy more like raw cherry tomatoes with my dinner. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna like these up a little bit, um, cut them in half, put some balsamic vinegar, and maybe that's it. Um, then I'm gonna stick them in the air fryer and then let, let them go a little bit toasty whilst the asparagus is getting done. And that'll be the most delicious meal, so I'll show you in a second. Okay, dinner is served and I wanna show you what I got. So, slightly warmed up tomatoes. This, is, this asparagus is incredible with the lemon and the garlic salt and then loads of mice, twice baked spinach, potatoes, garlicky style. I'm gonna go and dig into this. I am so excited for food. Super, super hungry. 